I started the uh, Lombasa team and then went into Fiji under 20, 1987. And then as soon as I came back, I was um, told to join the national team trials. Uh, that was uh, 88 and 89. But I was a full-blown uh, national team in 1990. That was my first uh, tour to Nicaledonia, Melanesian Cup. 90, then 91, uh, we won the first uh, gold medal for Fiji in uh, the SPG in 1991, and 92, Minnesota Pacific Games in Vanuatu, and then uh, went uh, to Tahiti. But unfortunately, I didn't uh, join the national team to Tahiti South Pacific Games. Uh, well, uh, and uh, I continued playing soccer till 2007, I think. Then I ended my <coughs> soccer career and started coaching the Lombards team on and off. And then, uh, but uh, at the moment, helping out in the Lomba, uh, in the village teams and you know helping out the us for whatever they need to get in uh, anything about soccer. So I help out in that. <coughs> Well, during our soccer time, uh, the main problem was financial. Eh? We had financial uh, finance, uh, financial problems, uh, but uh, those times are uh, not like now, where uh, people and business houses they they do this uh, uh, what you call this sponsorships and all those things. Eh? Before it was just the fundraising done by the districts and and the payment of uh, players was just uh, well uh, way back in 1992 where Peter Nan came he started his uh, like uh, bonuses and things like that after games eh? and then I think that was uh, when uh, Lambasa started paying out players after each national uh, league game and then IDC where players started to be given a bonus system eh? and uh, price money. Well, that is one issue where, especially Fiji football has to see where the young age group is coming, they have to be, you know, kept in like uh, development, eh? it should be uh, continuous. And these are the, the future uh, stars of uh, uh, football eh? here in Fiji. Uh, like. These are the players who I can recollect. These are the players who came out from secondary schools. Yeah, and I think uh, national Fiji, uh, the Fiji team officials should go down to the grassroots level. Eh? Like from primary school, secondary school, where the cream of uh, <coughs> the future players is going to come from. And this under 20 has shown that because they are the ones who come in from uh, that age group, eh? it's not about the players who have already passed that age group where they have to be concerned with. Because I don't think uh, the national team at this moment have any overseas uh, games. And that is where we have uh, stagnantly yeah? uh, standing, our standing in, um, in the world uh, ranking is still there for a long time. Yeah, and I think uh, this is where, if we want to groom future players for the national team, it has to come, it has to come from the, this age group. Yeah? The, the record of the Lambasta Primary School has won IDCs way past any other, um, any other school. That shows that Lambasta has uh, potential from this young age, but where does it end up? Yeah, these, these, two, uh, these young guys, once they come up and they are lost, lost to other districts and then we can't find them. That, that is the place where we should concentrate, national, uh, the national um, yeah, powerhouse should go into the development and see where to continue because this is the young age where the, we can develop them into better players. Eh? In, in Lambas fans always go for Lambasa, that's the thing, eh? because if you are Kai Lambasa, definitely for Lambasa. <coughs> that's the only thing uh, I can say, because always red. Eh? You can see me wearing red, it, uh, you never told me that 
you're going to interview me, but I'm wearing red at the moment. That shows I'm always going out with Lampasset hat. Eh? 